Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. Hopefully everyone is having a great day as always. In today's video, we are going to look at this coin right here. This is a 2017 Philadelphia Mint Lincoln Penny. Now the metal content of this coin isn't anything special, but the P mint mark gives it a very cool characteristic as well as a error that's located on the reverse side of the coin. Now the P mint mark is special because for the first 224 years of the history of the Philadelphia Mint, they did not put any P mint marks on their Lincoln pennies. The Philadelphia Mint was the first mint that was in production, so there wasn't any competition out there. There wasn't any reason for to distinguish them as a uh, one mint versus another because they were the only mint. So for a while, 2000, for a while, the pennies didn't have any mint mark on them that came out of the link. Excuse me, came out of the Philadelphia Mint until around January of 2017 people started finding Lincoln pennies with a P mint mark on them now interestingly the mint didn't uh, kind of announced that they're going to be doing this which made it pretty cool they just people started finding them in in uh, production and then the mint later came out and said yes we in fact made this cool commemorative coin to celebrate the United States mints 225th anniversary which was on April 2nd of 2017 now making this coin even more cool is when we flip it over I'm going to direct your attention to that little area right there, and I'm going to zoom in. So please focus your attention right here. See, what that is right there is a die crack. Now, die cracks are pretty interesting because they can actually increase the value of your coin. Now, cracks and duds, those are in kind of the same category. Um, let me, I'm going to adjust the lighting try and make it a little bit better for you. So die cracks and die cuts. Uh, dies are subject to excessive pressure or that are worn uh, will sometimes develop cracks. Uh, cracks appear as raised regular lines that can distort legends. Legends are essentially just letters and other parts of the coin's design. When a piece falls out of the die, coins struck from the damaged die show a raised lump or a cud uh, where the design is missing. So the value of these uh, production errors uh, depends on the size and placement of the die breaks or die cuds. So we're getting a nice look at this one right here. Now generally if they're located around the rim, that's not going to be as valuable because those ones are the most common area to find them. For Lincoln pennies that were made 1982 and after, the general uh, the generally a die break is worth about 50 cents to two dollars and a die cud is worth about five to twenty dollars according to the website coinsite.com backslash us era coin values now the most valuable die break that will be with the peace dollars which were made from 1921 until 1935 those are going to be worth 10 to 50 dollars for die breaks and the morgan dollar which was made from 1878 to 1904 as well as 1921 and those are going to be worth 10 to 50 dollars the most well-known die break out there has to do with a morgan dollar with the 1888 O mint mark Morgan dollar, which is affectionately referred to by collectors as the scar face variety. So imagine, see that line right there occurring on the face of the uh, profile of the person. So that'd be um, the Lady Liberty there for the Morgan dollar. So that is what gives it a cool nickname as the scar face variety coin. And the Morgan dollar is a pretty uh, valuable coin because of its silver content and its age. Again, it was made from 1878 to 1904. So that would be a really old coin as well as a, a kind of a crack in the coin. Now, another thing that I want to also mention was with the 2017 Philadelphia Mint 
pennies. Now, I don't think I've mentioned it before on the channel, but you can actually look up the production amount of coins by going to the usmint.gov website and searching production sales figures. From there, you can filter down by the type of program you're looking for. So, of course, there's a 50 state quarter program, America the Beautiful Quarters, Circulating Coins, District of Columbia, Presidential Dollars, Westward Journey Nickels. So I'm going to search for uh, circulating, filter down to circulating coins, look at the year 2017, and share with you the production amount for 2017. If you were wondering if your Lincoln penny with the P-Mint mark on it is rare, unfortunately, it is not for the year 2017. For 2017 at the Philadelphia Mint, there were 4,361,000,000 of these coins that were made. Now, of course, having a die break like I've got on the reverse side right here will increase the value. However, if it's just a regular 2017 P Lincoln penny, then yours is one in four billion. Now the total production amount for the both the Denver and the Philadelphia Mint for the other coins, uh, the other coins we had, we had uh, over a billion five cent pieces. Uh, we had 2.7 billion 10 cent pieces. We had 2.1 billion quarters. As far as the 50 cent coins, that's when the production amount really decreases. So there are only four million uh, 4.7 million of the 50 cent coins that were made and only 3.36 million of the Native American $1 coins that were made and none of the presidential dollar coins were made in the year 2017. Now that is pretty cool. So if you got a 50 cent coin or if you've got a Native American one Native American $1 coin, those were both not intended for circulation years. So the mintages on those are very low because the U.S. Mint made those and sold those directly to collectors at a premium. Now you can still find them in circulation, but you would have to find them by someone paying a premium for them than putting them back into circulation because they no longer kind of want to hang on to it despite the fact that at some point someone paid a premium to get those coins. All right, I'm going to flip it over one more time to the reverse side right here, and we will zoom in on this uh, die crack right here. Again, uh, what causes a die crack? So a die crack is caused uh, by excessive pressure or a uh, worn out sometimes, worn out coins sometimes develop cracks as well. And they appear as irregular lines that can distort um, letters or any other parts of the coins design. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please do check out some of the other videos on this channel. Thank you very much, everyone, and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.